Hello everybody, and I'm just screwing around today, not doing anything serious. And I saw something called, like, do so many parodies on this song called Intensive Care Unit. It's kind of funny. So I think I'm going to do on an LM in this real quick. So what we do is we import the MIDI file somebody made. And where is it? Here we go, Intensive Care Unit. So I have a sound font set in presets, like under edit settings. If you go, oh, not here. There we go. Somewhere in here you got like different presets. And yeah, sound font I have set up already. But you gotta find those and download those. But if you play it, it's nothing special, right? It's just a MIDI sounding thing. But what I'm going to try to do is make up my own stupid samples and substitute them for what the MIDI files are. So let's do that with Audacity. Bring up Audacity. And I guess I'm going to hit the record button and make a funny noise. There! <laughs> Alright, it's a derp, right? Alright. There! A little bit too loud. It's a little too loud. Try it again. There. Yeah, this is what I gotta do. There. <laughs> Alright. And I'm going to delete that. There. Alright. And I'm going to See project is. Oh, I can only do it that way. I gotta export. Don't want MP3. I only want auger wave. <laughs> there we go, derp. Don't need all that. And let's make another sound. Ready? Here we go. And... <laughs> yeah, that's good. So we export that. Derp, burp, and... Another funny sound. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> All right. And export this. There we go. Should I make any more sounds? I think they'll be good enough for now. All right. I'm not going to do any more with Audacity right now. But what we do now is go to instruments here. All these sound file ones we replace with the audio file processor, which is the sample player. So what I want to do is drag this in here and drag it right over that. Because if you miss it, it's not going to work right. And I'm going to set each one to a channel. How many of them are there? Okay. Actually, that one will be channel one. And this one I didn't sign yet. But you gotta drag it right on top. There we go. And as you do that, you'll notice there's no sounds at all playing. Because I haven't assigned any samples yet. And so what I do now is find my samples. And Let's 
So you just go find the samples. And Let's see, so this first one, channel one, second one. This one should be channel two. And this one channel three. Alright. Now let's test it out. Huh. Why is this still on play? Should play. Should play. Oh, I know it. You gotta adjust your samples too. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes they don't start on the right scale, so. So I'm gonna shift it down and I should bring this up, yeah. Alright, you can see that little tab right there by the keyboard, that's your octave shifter, your pitch shifter thing. And... Still too low. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. And now the derp sound, I gotta go bring this to the start. It's probably that gray about there. Uh, there. 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 Alright, this is funny. But I'm just showing you how to people do some of these things. And this is how you do it in LMS. <laughs> reason why I put it. The reason why I assigned effects channels, by the way, is so you can mix it, because if one comes in way too loud or something, you can just move the slider, and so trying to figure out what the volume knobs do, you can move the slider, or fader, or whatever you want to call it, but you move it, and you can actually see the levels behind it, which makes it a little easier to eyeball it while you're listening to it, too, but still. And back to playing it. Coming in active too low, so let's tag this one down. It's a little green bead above the keyboard. You got right. Click it. Just one entire octave down. Which I guess is what 12 semitones. If I've been following the lingo in other videos, that's how it say. And this one is. Farting noise, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Uh, the burp 
is still coming in way too low, but anyhow. Yeah. Get the idea. Well, we'll try this. Let's try. It sounds funky. Alright. That one sound is coming in too low still. Uh. I'm not too down like that. There we go. Intensive derpy. Oh, and we can also add effects to these. Let's do that. Let's add a uh, feedback or an echo. Let's do a little bit of a feedback. Derp sound. <laughs> there we go. And we can put an effect on this one too. See, that's the neat thing about this software is you can put effects on things. This effects mixer is actually useful if you know it. Even if you don't know what the hell you're doing, it's still very fun to play with because you can. Change the way these things sound. Uh, I think that'll be interesting. Let's see. idea you can like do all kinds of parody songs with this software you're like if you're not doing anything serious or you can switch them out like you can take a MIDI with like really cheap sound font or when it just sounds really generic and you can assign real instruments to it like so, you know you got all of these or these or you can hit up the uh, VSTIs you know VST instruments all that stuff. But you'll get the idea, but this is just like playing around. So have fun and uh LMS is kinda cool that way. So later guys. <laughs>